Alright, so nagbabalik tayo sa ating violin tips and tricks. And for today's video, let's talk about how long should you be playing or practicing your instrument. No? And, and also, maybe yung lesson time. No? Paano ba tayo dapat nagli-lesson? No? Especially if you are teaching. No? Yan yung pag-uusapan natin on today's video. Okay, so first things first, when we talk about playing time, no? Of course, there's no set amount of time that you should be playing. No? If you are enjoying what you're doing and kaya na ng uh, endurance mo, no? and hindi ka naman nahihirapan, there's no discomfort that you are feeling, feel free to play. No? Wala namang masama doon. Especially if you are really enjoying what you're doing. But if you are starting out, usually, di ba, wala ka pa naman masyadong uh, inaaral ng mga techniques. No? Very simple tasks pa lang yung pinapagawa sa'yo if you are starting out. You don't need to spend 3 hours no, inside your practice room or practicing. No? Usually, it takes around 5 to 10 minutes diba, na practice or 10 to 15 minutes depending on how long. Of course, your repertoire is, no, ano ba yung mga tasks na kailangan mong gawin, how much warm-up do you need, open string exercises, all those things uh, come into play no, when we talk about your play. As long as hindi sumasakit yung katawan mo, no, you can play as short as you want or as long as you want. As long as yun, yeah, hindi sumasakit yung katawan mo, you're not experiencing any difficulties no, and problems no, that might cause injury. Okay? Kasi syempre, kapag nagsisimula ka pa lang, when you are starting out, techniques mo pa lang inaaral. No? And even if you look at books na, na mga... Uh, for beginners, usually the pieces are quite short. No, may mga pieces na 30 seconds lang. No, if we time it, 20 seconds, a minute. No, parang pinakamahaba na siguro is one minute to two minutes. No, so hindi ka pa naman kailangan mag-practice ng tatlong oras kung ang pieces mo ay eh, two to three minutes long lang, de ba? So you can play, let's say two to three minutes yung piece mo. So you play uh, twenty minutes para malinis mo siya, magawa mo yung mga exercises na ginagawa mo, and also, work on the minute details, no? yung finer things, no? pag nag adjust And, as you progress, no? as you you get better, syempre, humahaba na yung mga pyesa. No? Dumadating tayo sa point na a whole piece, it takes up like an hour, no? 30 to 45 minutes to 50 minutes ang isang pyesa. So, pwedeng maging ganun kahaba yung uh, mga repertoire. So, ano mangyayari? Nakahaba din yung practice time natin. So, the the farther you progress, the longer your practice time gets. So, it doesn't mean na yun yung magiging maximum mo. But it's actually your minimum, no? Yung practice time mo. Kasi, hindi rin naman pwedeng mag-start ka pa lang, no? So, let's say, first lesson mo pa lang, tatlong oras ka na agad nagpo-practice. Your body is not yet, uh, accustomed to those movements or accustomed to whatever posture you might have. So, may times na sasakit yung katawan mo, you might have uh, uh, techniques na hindi masyado maganda yung posture or your form that you might suffer in the long run. So, kailangan mo rin i-balance out yun, no? your mastery. And yun nga, habang tumatagal, humahaba yung nagiging practice time mo or your playing time. Diba? So, from, let's say, nag-start ka 10 minutes yung practice mo, habang tumatagal ka, nag, nag uh, aral ka ng mga bagong pyesa, nagiging 30 minutes na, no? And then, mahirap din kasi talaga, to be honest, to bind someone inside uh, the confines of time, no? Because everyone has their own schedules, no? And also, everyone has their own pace of learning. So, you can take as long as you want or as short as time as you want Kung ano lang talaga yung kailangan mo, as long as you are improving every time you're practicing, no? you're reaching your goals. No? Yun yung mahalaga doon. Now, kapag hindi mo nare-reach yung goals mo, let's say 30 minutes na, pero hindi mo pa rin nare-reach yung goal mo sa 5-minute piece, baka kailangan mong ding i-check kung tama ba talaga yung ginagawa mo. No? The system of how you are practicing. Kasi hindi naman pwedeng play lang tayo ng play. No? Yun nga, no? napag-usapan natin in previous videos, no? mindless repetition is also bad. No? So you can just repeat and repeat and repeat things. You have to uh, find the system that works for you in order for you to progress faster and become a better musician. Okay? Now, when it comes to lessons, no? usually yung teachers talaga, 
parang the standard is one hour. Pero I think it would depend on age. Kasi as you are younger, no? Younger people, especially yung mga around 4 to 5 years old, no? Yung attention span kasi nila is different from someone older, no? So, yung lesson time ng 4 to 5 years old and uh, 10 to 11 year old uh, student, magkakaiba yun, no? And it also depends on how well you practice, di ba? Usually, may mga teachers ka ma-encounter that they actually shorten the lesson if you don't practice. Bakit? Kasi hindi ka na niya mabibigyan ng input ng panibagong uh, lesson to actually learn, no? Because you did not reach the goals from your previous lesson. So, yung ibang mga teachers, pag ganun yung mga lessons, maaga nila kinaka, no? Meron din mga mga teachers na kapag maganda naman yung yung progress mo, tuloy-tuloy, no? Napapahaba din yung lesson time, no? So, from one hour, yung iba umabot one and a half hours. Especially pag medyo advanced ka na talaga, di ba? Kasi, if you are playing a full recital repertoire, no? Let's say, you have a concerto, you have a sonata, you have uh, a back piece, tapos meron kang short piece or show piece, di ba? And other pieces in between. Hindi mo naman cover lahat yun in one sitting or in one lesson. So, sometimes they break those lessons into different parts, no? Minsan, isang piyasa lang yung aaralin mo. And that lesson might take you two hours to finish, no? Hindi rin naman masasabi na, oh, isang oras, ta- lagi tayong bound by time, no? It's really hard to put music in the context, no? Na eksaktong eksakto. Because even if you are practicing, no? Kahit may metronome ka, if there are certain rubatos, nag-iiba-iba yung start and end mo. Hindi ka naman laging eksakto. O 20 minutes lang yung pyesa ko, laging sakto 20 minutes mo siya matatapos. So, there are many factors to consider when you are actually playing, no? And of course, your practice time, no? Hindi rin naman natin pwede masabing consistent na, o oh, 3 hours ako nagpo-practice, pero ganito na yung magngayari sa akin, no? Because sometimes, dadating na lang na, oh, okay na yung technique, nakuha ko siya in, let's say, 30 minutes, no? Pero sometimes you you need days in order for you to get a certain passage perfectly. No? So may mga ganong factors na kailangan mo rin tignan. So as long as you are not struggling, no? kasama din dun yung struggle ng pag-iisip natin. Minsan pag nafo-frustrate tayo, you, you really need to stop no? and think about other things para fresh yung mind mo pagbalik mo. And of course, taking breaks, no? So, ano ba yung pinaka-optimal kapag medyo advanced ka na? I think, uh, a friend of mine has suggested yun. 50 minutes of dere-derecho practice and you take a break in between. So, kung ilang set man yung 50 minutes na yun, you always take at least 10 minute breaks in between para ma-refresh ka, no? Because again, you are not just playing, no? With your music sheets in front of you. You have, you have to convey an emotion. You have to be able to share an idea or a concept, no? And you have to play in the context of what you are playing. So, merong external factor outside of just playing the notes, no? You have to make music as well. So, kailangan meron kang mga ideas. And you can translate those ideas from your music to the audience so that your audience can enjoy whatever you're playing and you can also enjoy what you are playing. Kasi pag laging technique lang yung titignan natin, hindi magiging maganda yung sound na mapoproduce natin. Because music is very uh, subjective no? to a lot of people. So, hindi mo talaga pwedeng masabi na ah, ganito lang yung pwede kong gawin. No? You will have a ton of ideas that will come to you if you start practicing. no? And also, if you stop, no? we we'll talk about having breaks as well. So, Again, if you are a beginner, you have to also build the endurance to be able to practice long hours without having problems. No, hina magde-develop ka into injuries in the long run. Kasi, di ba sabi nga natin, musicians tend to develop uh, overuse injuries rather than, you know, yung mga biglaan na lang may mababalian ka, no? So, you also have to take that into consideration within your practice time. So, you have to set goals and if you are hitting your goals, then that's good, no? You just play around with your practice time, no? And yun nga, habang nagsisimula ka, medyo ma-exit muna. And, but if you are enjoying, no? Walang makakapigil sa'yo. You just continue playing, continue practicing as long as you are enjoying and 
you are reaping the benefits. Kasi there will come a time na kahit practice ka ng practice, wala nang papasok sa isip natin. Because we also have to think. No? We can't just be playing with our bodies. But also with our minds. Ayan, sana nakatulong itong video na to. If it did, please do drop a like, comment down below, more content you'd like to see. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on all my socials, all the links you need down in the description box below. This has been Ryan Manakil for Violent Tips and Tricks, and I'll see you on the next video.